Hi Floss Tubers, my name is Michelle Marr and for a few years now, quite a few years, I've been vlogging over at Michelle's Romantic Tangle. I used to do a lot of cross stitch, but I packed it away when my third and fourth babies were born 15 months apart. And I also took up quilting and knitting, which probably explains more than the newborn and the toddler why I ran out of time for cross stitching. Over the past few months, I've been watching a lot of floss tube videos and starting to cross stitch again, so I decided I wanted to take the plunge and film a floss tube video. So this first thing I want to show you here, this is my proof that back 13 years ago I was doing cross stitch that's much better than what I'm doing these days. The pattern is Ironwork Gate by Graphs by Barbara and Cheryl, and I did several of theirs. Anything at that time that it would fit was full covering stitch, full coverage stitching in a landscape or an old house, I wanted to stitch it. So I picked up, over the past couple of years, I've picked up some gift kits at the thrift shop and stitched a couple bookmarks and finished an old Mill Hill kit that I hadn't finished before. But I was intimidated to take tackle one of those big kits. We were at the thrift shop one day last summer and I found a little 99 cent Halloween kit. This is not the style that, of stuff that I was stitching back before, but I thought it would give me a chance to see if I could do it, and it turned out I could. So, not long before I finished the cat, I was looking at Craigslist for estate sale ads, and I saw, I wish I had the picture to show you because it was a strange ad. There was a cardboard box with a sign on the front that said $3 each, and just barely visible over the corner of that box, you could see that those were cross-stitch patterns only because I'd had patterns by that company before and I knew kind of what the corner of the logo looks like. The sale was opening in 20 minutes. I got the kids out of bed, so we're going on a road trip, guys, and we headed out there. They had lots of kits. A lot of them were embellished cross-stitch, which I don't do. But I found some stuff that was my style, and one of the things I got was the kit for this little lighthouse. I struggled with this for about two and a half months. My eyes aren't what they used to be. That sunset drove me to distraction, but I finished it and I was happy. While I was finishing the sunset, I went to the library and got a book on cross stitching and they had a pattern for a little tiny Mona Lisa done in 10 shades of floss. And this was fun. I dropped everything and she was my main project. Then after Mona Lisa and the lighthouse were done, I went up to my sewing room. I'd been looking at Instagram. There is so much gorgeous cross stitch on Instagram. And I saw the kit for Busilla paper dolls and fell in love. I had a little voice in the back of my head telling me that I bought that kit 13, 14 years ago. I was sure I had it. So I went up to my sewing room and I dug and I dug under the fabric, under the yarn, under everything else, back in the corner behind the bookshelf where I had tucked the cross stitch because I didn't think I'd ever be using it again. And I found the paper dolls kit. It's unopened. I am thrilled to have it. There is no way my eyes are going to tackle this even weave until I figure out some better magnification, but I'm happy. I also brought down a bunch of other stuff that I had packed away way back when, and one of them was a Dimensions Gold Petite Kit called Village Serene. I had a lot more fun with this one than I did with the lighthouse, because it's got doors and windows and walls and landmarks and not just sunset. I don't remember buying this kit at all. It's got a price tag from Craft Warehouse Clearance, so obviously that's where it must have came from. But 13 years later, I did it. So one of the other things I thought would be fun to share with you, I remembered leaving a few UFOs when I packed everything up. I found a box and it looked, well, they're UFOs. I'm not sure everything in here is a UFO, but I haven't gone through it yet except to make sure that it is UFOs and partially start a project. So I thought I'd let you go on a little adventure with me and we can figure out what I was stitching a decade and a half ago. This one, I don't remember starting this at all. I know I had the pattern, I know I wanted to sew it, but I got this much of it done and I have no memory. I do know it was me. 
it's Marty Bell's Sanctuary, and I'm excited about this one. I'm When I get my current project done, I may pick this one up again. Back from when my eyes could do even weave is a sampler. So I'm going to hold it up here. I don't know what it is. It is Woodland Walk by the Drawn Thread. And I do remember working on this one. And I remember I was happy with this one. I don't know if... There were some things when I went into preterm labor with my third child that I was working on. So this might have been one of those. Definitely plan on finishing this one. I don't know that I'm in a hurry to make that happen. Then the next one, which... I'm a little bit confused by is Thomas Kincaid's Stone Hearth, was it Stone Hearth Hutch? I remember working on this one. I remember I was having trouble with this one, but I don't remember what the trouble was. And guys, this is almost done. I've done the bulk of the work here. Okay, this one I don't remember at all. I swear I've never seen it before. So the chart is more Garden Joys, and it, this one looks like it's the one. The verse is, in the Garden of Life, you have to pull a few weeds to get the flowers. I don't know who I was making this for. I don't think I was making it for myself. There are a series of Christmas ornaments. And I cannot remember the name of the designer, if these are Prairie Schooler or somebody else. The chart isn't here. I'm not sure if I finished them all. But maybe the chart will turn up. This is the Prairie Schooler 2x2 two 2. two. And 2x2. Two two. And it looks got floss stuck to it, like I did kangaroos and flamingos. I have a Christmas ornament. I have the magazine the Christmas ornament was in. These are little angels. I. It's my fabric. It's in my sewing room. I remember the fabric, but I don't know why I would have been stitching those. Here's another one. I really need to go through and take all this floss and pull it into one spot. I have got partially gridded fabric and a rusty needle. At least the needle is on the very edge of the fabric, so that'll be okay. Let's see, there's a pattern with it. That's helpful. Looks like I was going to do a Diane Phelan quilts. This is... I love the Diane Phelan quilt patterns. When I, it was her quilts, the pictures of the quilts hanging outside that got me into cross stitching in the most roundabout way. I went with my kids to the Salem Art Fair and they had a display of her artwork and I fell in love. And I learned to cross stitch so that I could do these patterns. I then learned to quilt so I could make the quilts. And now I'm circling back again to the cross stitch, which is kind of fun. And I have this. I remember this, but I had not thought of it until I saw it in the box, and now I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I started making an afghan for my mother. She collected cherished teddies. I was at a garage sale, and I found cherished teddies from around the world. And I think I went out that same day to Joanne's to buy an afghan because... It was the best idea ever. And I did some bears. I did the little bear from India. and I know I did more bears than her. I did the little sailor bear. And honestly, I swear I remember doing more bears, but I've got the little bear from India and the little sailor bear. I don't know what to do with this, guys. My mom doesn't collect cherished teddies anymore. I'm not a big fan of teddy bears, but I don't want to give it up. So I think I'm going to carefully pack this away 
and make that decision at a later date. I suppose it would make sense before I leave to show you what I'm working on now. This is a little girl's fancy and it has a dollhouse and I love dollhouses. I, anything with a dollhouse. I found the pattern at the local thrift store for a quarter and I thought I had it up in my sewing room but it was a quarter and I didn't care. So I started stitching on this about three days ago. I am totally loving it. I'm trying to stick with one cross stitch pattern at a time because I also have knitting projects and quilting projects and all the other projects. We'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to be back with another video for you soon. Thank you!